Hey campers, everybody up, everybody up. It was literally seven days of you're not gonna sleep much, the food sucks, it's hot as hell, and you're running a camp. You ready for this? Outside? What? Take advantage of these last two days because being here is something special. Back before the internet, Slam Magazine, and the AAU circuit we know today, there was only one proving ground, outside on the blacktop in the mountains of western Pennsylvania. I am going to blow some stuff by you now that are going to improve your game, and you are a fool if you do not listen. The five-star basketball camp. This was the first time high school prospects like Isaiah Thomas and Patrick Ewing were invited to see how they stacked up against the other top players in the country. You know, you should be. It's where a kid named Mike Jordan made a coach say for the first and probably the last time, Who is this Mike Jordan? Who the is that? But to truly understand Five Star, we have to get to know its founder, Howard Garfinkel, simply known as Garf. Here's someone who has touched the game in thousands and thousands of ways and left his mark. Throughout this series, we'll explore how Garf built the best show in basketball and the stories surrounding the insane amount of talent that came through his camp. I remember having reservations because I knew Coach K had played and coached with Coach Knight. I'll explain why five stars run at the top couldn't last forever and how Garf eventually flew too close to the summer sun with the NCAA burning him in the end. It was the 200 coaches that were complaining. They put the pressure to the NCAA to stop it. Plus, you'll hear exclusive conversations I've had with the five-star alum like Coach K, Grant Hill, Meta Artest, Hubie Brown, Rick Pitino, and a whole lot more who helped change the game forever. I am Tate Frazier. Welcome to the world of five-star. Coming this fall, wherever you listen to podcasts.